Hello, I welcome you all to my video on water activity. All living things on earth, right from people, plants, animals and the things that are too small to see need water for survival. Also, water is an important basic element in food. Water acts as an essential solvent for many biochemical reactions to be carried out by microorganisms, thereby causing spoilage. In terms of food safety and quality, one of the most important intrinsic factors that is taken as a critical measure by all food manufacturers is the water activity. Scientists also emphasized that microbial growth in food is not only governed by the water content but also by the water activity. Well, then what is the difference between moisture content and water activity? Moisture content defines the amount of water in food while water activity on the other hand explains how the water available in food interacts with microorganisms. Yes, it is the free water in food that is jointly responsible for the growth of microorganisms which produces toxins or other harmful substances thereby making the food unfit for human consumption. Water activity by definition is the ratio of vapor pressure of water in the substrate to that of pure water at the same temperature. The tightly bound water has no tendency to escape from food as vapor and therefore exerts no partial pressure and has water activity of zero. The higher is the water activity, the faster is the microbial growth. Water activity scale extends from zero to one that is for pure water. Water activity of pure water is 1. Based on regulations, if water activity of a food is 0 0.85 or below, it is generally considered non-hazardous. This is because most pathogenic bacteria, including Clostridium botulinum, can grow well in a medium with water activity approaching 1. But most mold and yeast can grow at a minimum water activity of 0 0.8 which could be witnessed in dry food items such as bread. Thus, dry food items are most likely to be spoiled by molds and not by bacteria. The minimum water activity level required for the growth of microorganisms varies. Here is the list of various microorganisms and their water activity level that initiates its growth in different food items. Foods with low water activity have their water molecules tightly bound to the food and is not easily available for microbial growth. While foods with intermediate water activity have relatively low moisture but have considerable mobility of water molecules. Whereas foods with high water activity tend to have water molecules with high mobility and makes water molecules easily available for microbial growth. Foods with low water activity tend to have a crunchy or crispy texture. These foods can even be stored at room temperature without any secondary method of preservation. Usually, they are self-stable and do not get spoiled quickly. Intermediate moisture foods have a chewy moist texture which is relatively stable and depends on the application of any processing techniques. While foods with high water activity tend to have soft, juicy texture which mostly includes perishable foods 
which need any processing or preservation technique for maintaining the stability. Water activity of the food can be reduced by the addition of any solutes or by cooking, drying and dehydration which restricts the microbial growth so as to make the food microbiologically stable and safe. Hence, by measuring and controlling the water activity of food products, it is possible to predict which microorganism will be a potential source of spoilage and infection, thereby ensuring the highest quality and the safest food supply. Thank you.